Hi, beautiful. <laughs> Every time I see your damn face, it gets more and more beautiful. I didn't know that was possible, you scrumptious little cutie you, you cutie. Arr! Today, we're watching some people go from very dark hair to silver. And if that sounds insane to you, well, same. Let me just tell you, going from very dark hair to silver is one of the hardest things to do. But I feel like we might come out of this video today with one girl who does this well. I'm feeling the hair gods are gonna give me something real good today. But also, I'm sure we'll see a lot of really crazy going on in these videos. Because when girls get their hands on bleach, you don't know what's gonna happen. And if you've never seen me before, well, hi, how are you? What the why have we never seen each other before? I am a professional hairdresser and you're about to see me watch some girls do their hair. And I'll give you my professional opinion on what they're doing right and what they're doing wrong and how they could have done it better. So let's get into it. Up first, we have Bedhead Beth. Cute name. <laughs> this is called Dark to Silver Haired DIY Step by Step. Let's see what happens. I am going to bleach my hair. I wanted to do a more in-depth video of how her hair is really dark. Me, because my older sister's bleaching it. But yeah, hopefully this has turned out well and I'm actually gonna use this video. Also, I have normally like bangs. I just don't today because my hair is actually really dirty and greasy. But this is what my hair normally looks like. I don't know, maybe I'll wear my hair like this more when it's bleached or maybe I won't. Let's analyze this real quick, shall we? Her hair is a level five, neutral, not ash toned, not warm toned just right in the middle. So I feel like she is gonna have a bit of a hard time with this. However, her hair does look like a finer texture, so it may lift very quickly, but I feel like she's gonna get stuck at that orange phase and she's gonna really have to push through that and slap on that bleach really thick. That's gonna be so important for her. And hopefully she uses like 30 volume and lightener and leaves it on for a long time with like a bag over her head, but we'll see what she actually ends up doing. But this is my natural hair color, so there's that. I'm glad she's starting with her natural color. Manic Panic Amplified Flash Lightning Super Strength Bleach Kit. You get the uh, cream developer. 40 volume. Powdered bleach. And then you get this bowl to mix it along with this. It's like a little brush, brush applicator. Okay, listen, she's using 40 volume, which, you know, not the best decision. It's fine. Honestly, it'll probably be good for her. Um, her hair is very dark, like I said before. And I'm so happy they are not doing the roots first. His sister, like f it up. Her sister's actually doing a great job, but for some reason, everybody decides to start on the top of the head. Why is it the top of the head all the time? Start on the bottom. That way you don't have to flip the hair over when it's already colored. You can just lay it all down as you go up. It keeps it a lot cleaner and easier and you know. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's so light. It looks really good. So she used an entire box of bleach on my hair right now and she is massaging it in kind of more because all of my hair is covered. I told her to leave my roots out. Obviously it's not gonna look natural, but like semi-natural. Oh. And that way I don't have to keep it up more and it's not a line when my hair grows. Oh. Like white and black. So she's not leaving her roots out because they process faster. She's actually just leaving them out because she wants the sort of like grown out feel to her hair. She wants a sort of like shadow root with silver ends. It's fine, I'll take it. I don't think it's gonna come out the way she thinks it's going to. Usually we bleach the entire head and then go back with a darker color on the roots once we end up toning it. So you actually have to make it blonde and then bring it back down after. Otherwise, it's just gonna grow out really fast if you end up like giving yourself a root to start with. It's just not a good idea. It says to check every 10 minutes, like take a part of your hair and wipe it off, like wipe it clean with a wet washcloth and judge it by that. But it says to check every 10 minutes. I would say definitely don't don't ever leave bleach on your hair more than 40 minutes, probably. You can definitely leave it on for like an hour. I mean, it does die out when it, it dries out and kind of like dies and doesn't really do much more. But checking every 10 minutes is a great rule of thumb. Wiping off the bleach to uncover what's underneath it is a really good, useful technique because usually when there's bleach on your hair, you can't actually tell how light it really is until you rinse it off. So. Yes. Put this on right now. Mm -hmm. And she's incubating. She's warming it up with a plastic bag. 
love to see it. This is what I currently look like. Cassie is mixing more bleach. I just took a Toner. shower. We're toning now. Dude, this looks amazing. They got it so even. If she had foils involved with this, if they foiled every little section of her hair, you could have done this in one single process and got it white. This is only because she has very fine hair. She has thick hair, but it's fine. And that is the easiest hair to lighten. It looks amazing for only doing one bleach job. I can't wait to see the results. I actually think this is gonna look amazing. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay, so she's uh, mixing toner right now. Okay, so now they are using foils. They are bleaching again. I don't know what's going on. This is so good though. She really needs those foils to make it super light. Oh, it's getting lighter. Okay, so I just finished bleaching in round two and then we- It's so light. <sighs> Do another toning and then I'm gonna go to sleep and tomorrow I'll do the toner again and see how it looks. Okay, good morning guys. Yo, it looks so good. And now this is what it looks like. It's definitely a lot lighter, but still very golden brassy looking. I did one round of this Wella toner, and then I did one round of this toner, which is the Manic Panic uh, Virgin Snow White Toner. So she used T18 with 40 volume to tone her hair. Okay, the max I would use with T18 is 20 volume. You don't need 40 volume for a toner, girl. You don't need that much lift in your toner. It is probably making your hair a little lighter though, um, but it's also damaging your hair. And I hate to see it. Also, what the f T18. Guys, I have no hard feelings towards Wella. Love you, Wella. You're a great brand. But T18 doesn't just work for everybody. And none of these girls have light enough hair to use it. And it just doesn't make sense why everybody goes to that. There are so many other toners out there. You guys, you can buy like a dark gray color from any brand and mix it with conditioner and it will tone your hair white, okay? You just need those blue pigments in order to get your hair white. When you put blue on yellow, it makes White. She's gonna go back again with another package of the Wella toner. What do you think is gonna happen? A couple more times with some toner and I may put some like a gray dye into my hair and see if that like gives it a better gray bluer tone to my hair. Putting toner in your hair multiple times in a row, the same toner over and over again is not gonna, going to make a difference. It's not gonna change anything. You gotta adjust your formula if it's not working for your hair. Oh God, what are we doing? We're putting the toner in foils, okay. My hair is pretty white. It, it is. is. What about that it's not like brown? like a. And her roots are orange. Awfulness, like my roots. We didn't do my roots on purpose because I'm gonna dye them. She put some Adore Creative Image Jet Black One to One Shining Semi Permanent Hair Color. Oh. <laughs> Three Minute Miracle Aussie Conditioner. Okay. A squirt of the purple. And then a squirt of the Goldwell Blondes and Highlights Anti Brassiness Conditioner. I mean, I'll take that makeshift formula. Like, okay, that's a little root color. However, I'm nervous because putting a black root on bright blonde hair is very, very difficult because the black tends to get everywhere and you tend to get spotting on all the white hair if you don't do it perfectly. And also, you have to have the right technique in order to make the roots look like they've been grown out. Who knows? though maybe she'll get it right she's just gonna put that on my roots probably like a half an inch to an inch okay deeper yeah let's try it that's what we're doing now good for your sister girl you better thank her it actually doesn't look bad that's the weird part wow look at that it looks kind of good you guys i think i filmed a little clip this morning cassie did oh yeah i was showing you cassie was doing my roots a little bit darker and then i did another toning treatment all over my roots are still not as dark as i want them to toning be. treatment to be like pretty like black because this is a pretty warm shade so going from white hair to black is difficult because it doesn't tend to stick. You have to really get that pigment in there and use the right formula in order to make that happen and make that stick. And what you did was not exactly what we would have done. And this is a very cool silvery shade. So I think I'm gonna go the ends look good. with this Adore Jet Black dye and okay. do my roots again with it. That's gonna wash off so fast. I didn't leave it in for too long and we also diluted it because I was afraid it was gonna be like day and night. I didn't want that but now I'm just gonna go ahead and go in with it. Okay, I mean, I hope this works better this time. Oh! It's obviously still extremely wet. This looks so good! This is the color that I have. So far, it's kind of like a purpley color. I'm really liking it. Wow. Too much black dye right here, but... She kind of 
explain it. So like when I do put my hair up, it's like very, um, very dark. Like I want it to be darker when I put it up so I don't look like I'm like kind of bald. I mean, I'm obviously probably still I'm, I'm so with it for a while. Uh, speechless. How I like to style it. What? That kind of stuff. Probably not gonna be wearing my bangs. Over to the side more. I can't wait to see it dry. I'm all right with that. This is what the finished it is very gray, but also has a very yo bleed tint at the top, which I really love. I'm very satisfied with what it looks Me like. Me too. Now, this is it curled, obviously. I'll straighten my hair and see how that looks. I haven't figured out yet what I want to do with my bangs. Right now, I just kind of have this side part, but my bangs are still pretty short because obviously I just had straight across bangs, but I don't know if I love the whole straight across. Okay, first of all, let me just tell you, I like the straight across bangs better. It's really cute. Also, holy sh you and your sister somehow made that happen and had so much patience to make that happen. I mean, I'm just baffled, like wonderful job. You know, there's always so many different ways you can go when lightening hair. Every hairstylist does things differently. You got to your desired end result and that is all that matters. So bravo, I'm happy for you. That looks stunning. I mean, you just did an amazing job and that is not easy to do. Congratulations. Let's move on to the next one. Our next video is by Dara D and this is called How to Black to silver hair at home in one session. 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 Whoa, was that an echo? You're gonna do this in one session? <laughs> Good luck. Today I'm gonna be dyeing my hair once again. I'm gonna try to do like a platinum silver type of hair color. I've never been this light, but we're gonna try it out. I'm gonna show you guys what I got. Oh, she, she got, she said, I wanna do a haul and she went for it. We have 30 volume. I love that. I love to see that. My favorite developer, you guys know that. Cream developers. Oh, she got a lot too. And the reason I got this much is because I'm gonna be dyeing my friend's hair and my mom's hair as well. Oh no. <laughs> two of these. I like quick blue and DAD. What a surprise. I got three of these. Work. Okay. She, she, <laughs> she went for it. We got a cape. We got a coloring cape. The preparation is beautiful and those lashes, girl. Woo. Oh, that's a lot. We're making soup now. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, sure, sure. You can actually use the bristles of the brush to mix it. That's all. That's all. It's okay to do that. Okay, so this is the consistency. It's like a little bit. That's a good consistency. These are my measurements. I do like thicker bleach because it tends to not dry out as fast as watery bleach because it puts a thicker coating on the hair. It can eat through more layers of the hair. So when I'm doing anything that's exposed with no foils, with no plastic, I tend to do very thick bleach. That way it stays moist for longer and it develops the hair lighter. Okay, so she's starting on the bottom. Love that. And she's starting in the middle of her hair. Yay! She's not doing the roots first. That's right, you gotta work fast. Try to get like an even. Yes! You know what you're talking about, girl. That is a very thick section though. I don't know, I feel like she's gonna miss some spots with those sections. Oh, that's a big, that's a big boy section. That's really big. Oh my God, her hair is already getting so light. Do you see that? I'm so happy she's not doing the roots first. Yeah. I feel like she might get a decent color. I'm just predicting the future because I'm a psychic. So I'm already done putting it all through my hair. It's already lifting at the bottom. Uh-huh. So I'm just gonna wait. That was really quick. Okay, we're leaving the roots out. We're actually not coloring the roots. And I'm probably gonna have to go in with the second round of bleach. Yeah. So I'm just gonna put like a bag over this. And Good. Incubation. And I'm just gonna be in nation. Like, mm, 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, guys, so this is how my hair looks. Whoa. It did break off a little bit. <sighs> It's okay. I'm not gonna um, bleach the bottom anymore. Did she have blonde hair under her whatever color she just had? Because somehow that lifted so quickly and so beautifully. I mean, that was like a two second dye job she just did. And somehow her whole head is blonde. What the f This is some like hair conspiracy theory shit. And her roots don't look bad. Did she wash her hair? Why is she applying it to wet hair? Don't apply bleach to wet hair. Unless you're just- So this is my hair. I'm gonna put in the toner now. Uh... Um, it did break off a little bit. What's going on? What, are we not gonna acknowledge the root area that is patchy as yellow and then she has the black roots in there and then there's all sorts of going on. What, are we not gonna acknowledge that? Are we gonna move forward past that? We can just move on. I'm gonna be using this toner. It's girl, baby girl, T18 is not gonna do for your hair. 12A, 1210. Oh, well that's better. 
that's like a blue pigment, I think. So that will help, but still, your hair is not light enough. Okay, and we are applying it to our roots, which is scary and bad. The mixture she just made, I think had 30 volume in it. And if you apply 30 volume to your dark roots, it's gonna make them orange. Um, if you have no powder bleach in there, mix with it. And she's just putting toner with 30 volume on her roots. It's gonna make it bright orange. Just wait. Okay guys, so I finished putting in the toner in my hair. I'm gonna wait for like 10 minutes, I think. I don't wanna wait that long because I don't want it to like keep frying my hair. Okay guys, so this is how my hair turned out. First, I'm gonna show you guys a picture of how my hair turned out after I toned it. How did we get here? Why does your hair look so good? That is exactly how I thought it was gonna turn out. You see that picture? Her roots turned orange and the rest just stayed blonde because T18 doesn't work on orange hair. <laughs> How's your afternoon going or your night? Good? Good. So what I did was I got this purple shampoo right here. I put this in my hair a few times, but every single time that I put it in my hair, I left it in for about like an hour and this did really help. I'll insert a picture right here of how it looked. Uh-huh. All the yellow tones. So after I put in the purple hair shampoo, I let it dry and then I used this Ion Demi Permanent Cream Hair Color in the color Chrome. I used three of these and then I mixed it in with the 10 volume developer. Yeah. And this one is for sensitive scalp, so it will not like burn your scalp or anything. Okay, see, the chrome color with 10 volume makes just so much more sense. You needed something that was much darker and you know, was the result perfect? No, um, I still see a bit of yellowness going on and some like color variation that shouldn't be there. It's okay, you know, for doing it at home, you, you did a decent job. I feel like okay about this one. And she's young, so she kind of rocks it no matter what, even if it looks like it's kind of like rocker cool. Okay, let's move on to the next person. <laughs> Up next, we have a guy. I know I don't include enough guys on my channel. I don't know what the f is wrong with me. This is Suni Sun, and this is called Bleaching My Hair at Home Black to Silver. This is the first time I've ever bleached my Another hair. really dark head of hair. Doing it. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> the goal is to go like silver. We have to put the bleach in and leave it for like an hour or something. And then in a few days, we have to do the the color. We have to tone it first. Toning. We're toning. Okay, we have to bleach it today. Tone it. tone it today. So then it will be like silver. Sort of. Depends. It'll on be your white. Hair. It'll be white. Yeah. Um, and then in a few days, then we color it. Wait, what? We're gonna bleach it, tone it, and then color it again in the next day. I mean, I don't know what's going on already, but I'm intrigued. Got these. Um, bleaching kits. I'm gonna mix okay. bleaching powder and the cream peroxide. We don't know what color it's gonna turn because my hair isn't black and it's not really brown either. <laughs> it's like in between. Dark so brown. It could go blonde or it could either go white. Um, we just don't know. It's gonna go orange. <laughs> Fall off as well. <laughs> I can just smell like toxic fumes right now and I love that smell. Yum. So he has very thick, coarse hair. So it's probably going to end up at the orange phase for a little while. Unless they do like a few rounds of bleach or maybe a couple. Without using foils and incubating the hair, it's gonna be kind of hard to get that hair really light. Oh, here we go. Right on the root, baby. Right on the root and right on the center of the hair. Everybody instinctually does the same thing. Starts on the root and does the top of the head first. Do the opposite. So before I bleached it, loads of people were just like, oh, don't do it. It's gonna like sting your head. It's gonna burn your scalp. Okay, so in this instance, I would recommend on short hair like this guy, you can use a fine tooth comb to actually comb all the bleach through and make sure it gets on every hair strand. In this case, because his hair is so short and so healthy and it's virgin hair, it's not gonna rip out or anything. That might really help and make this a lot easier for you guys next time. You better apply way faster than this or just use your Hands, just slap it on. You don't need that brush. His hair is so short. Just go for it. That brush is doing nothing for you. <laughs> just grab bleach and go for it, girl. Oh, this brush is painful. It's so small. It's getting yellow orange, so that's good. It doesn't actually look that uneven, surprisingly enough. Oh my god, it's so. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> is it supposed to be like this, Christine? Yeah. The roots look cool though. So this is the color after the bleach. And the roots are very white. What a surprise. The ends are quite um, brassy, so we maybe we should have left it a bit longer, but we can probably fix it with toning. I can't really explain. No, you can't. It feels it just, oh, 
It feels really like hay and just a bit like artificial. Okay, it actually looks kind of good. I'm shocked that it's not more splotchy. I don't know what she did back there or what she did with that tiny little brush, but it actually looks good. And she got the entire hairline. So 10 out of 10 for me. Besides doing the roots first, I wouldn't have done that, but it actually looks pretty decent. Now we're doing toner on top of this orange, orange hair, which is gonna turn the roots gray and the ends are gonna stay orangey. So not a good idea. <laughs> Definitely should have bleached it one more time for sure. We did an oopsies today. So we're gonna bleach it again in a few days time and then color it then. Yeah, I think the toner has taken out some of the brassiness. Just gonna put some conditioner in. It didn't do anything. We have finally finished day one. This is not the completed look. If this is the final look, I would shave my head. Yeah, that might be a good idea. This is kind of what we thought it would be like. Um, we just need to- It's actually not that bad. It's not. Completely white. Mm -hmm. And then we can color it. He kind of looks like a cute K-pop boy with the yellowy orange hair though. They always have this ugly yellow hair. It's actually really cute. Okay, so they're bleaching the roots again. I'm horrified. I'm scared. I'm feeling uneasy. Is his hair gonna fall out? Hmm, let's see. I actually like the white color, but I still think we should color it. I don't know how his hair is still on his head. And it actually looks kind of good. The color and the conditioner together and then put that into my hair. We mix this platinum color with conditioner. We're just mixing this into the hair. The color is semi-permanent, so I might have to reapply it after a few. Why are we mixing with conditioner? Weeks, because the color might- You need full strength, baby. Okay guys, so it's two days after we finished doing the bleach and the color, and this is the final color of my hair. Yeah. It's quite silver. Mm. I mean, it didn't mm -hmm. go 100% the same color everywhere, mm -hmm. but I kind of like what it looks like. I think it looks quite nice. Listen. Is it terrible? No. Is it better than the yellow? Yeah. I actually didn't mind the yellow for some reason. <laughs> Is there something wrong with me today? Probably. You know, it ends up being blue with a little yellow tint. I will take it. At least it didn't fall out. He looks cute. I like this little change of color. It's fun. It'll look really good when his roots grow in. And I feel like his hair, the more he washes it, the more that blue will fade out and it'll be a perfect white color. So I think it's good. I think you did a good job. And that is all of the bleachings we have to watch today. That first girl did such an amazing job and I'm still thinking about it. The other two, better luck next time. And you guys, make sure you follow Follow me on all the different social media networks, including Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok at BradMondoNYC. Also, I have a Facebook page and a Snapchat show under BradMondo. And also, don't forget to check out my hair care brand, XMondoHair at XMondoHair.com or on Instagram at XMondoHair for beautiful, fabulous, amazing, glowing, healthy hair. And if you guys would like to know what products I would recommend for your hair to make it healthy, vivacious, and beautiful, well, take my quiz. It is down below and it'll tell you just that. And that is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. This is Salty, our sea salt spray. Salty is perfect for those of you trying to get those natural beach waves all year round. The thing that I love about our sea salt spray is it's not a super drying formula. This will help texturize your hair, form new wave, or enhance your existing wave pattern. 